Hey guys, this is Josh from We Are Solstice doing another tutorial on the new UI system in Unity 4.6. Uh, for this one, we're going to continue off the last tutorial from adding a button, and we're going to add a toggle switch or a, a toggle checkbox. I'm a big fan of these in the games that I work on, so we're going to start. We're going to create a toggle. Here it is, similar to the button. We can put it pretty much anywhere we want. I'm going to put it towards the bottom. Put it right centered. Just put it negative 160. And um, we're going to move it over a little bit just because it's... Actually, no, we'll leave it there and we'll change the words. So it fills out a little more. Label. We're going to make it say show color options. There you go. And uh, we're going to change the color so it's a little more vibrant. There, it's red. All right. So the way these work is now we've got a little toggle here. On value changed, it's similar to dealing with the buttons and doing an on click. It's more whether it starts on or off. We're going to have it start off. And then we're going to add two values for the two buttons. And we're going to drag these buttons into these two options. Now if you want to set, if you want to deal with the active nature of a button or something, it's set up in here to deal with it directly. If you go in, go to game object, and this little set active being a dynamic bool means that it will directly correlate with whether that's active or not. So we're going to do that with both and hopefully you'll see what I mean. So here they're both in here. We have it set as being off when you start it, but right now they're currently on, so this is going to be confused because it's not going to show them. It's going to do the opposite of what we want it to do. It shuts them off. So we're going to go in and to fix that. We're going to set these as off. So now, when we run it, it should work perfectly. Here, no, oh, red, blue, red, shut it off can't change it. And that is how you do a toggle switch.